Hello, in this video we're going to look at labor supply in the business cycle, in particular the added worker effect and the discouraged worker effect. Business cycles affect personal labor supply decisions. A recession generates two effects, an added worker effect and a discouraged worker effect. Let's start with the added worker effect. The added worker effect when the primary breadwinner or income earner in a household loses his or her job or receives a pay cut, other household members who are currently not working may decide to get a job to replace the lost income. The added worker effect increases labor force participation during a recession. Remember the unemployed breadwinner is still considered in the labor force if actively searching for another job. On the other hand, there is also a discouraged worker effect. Many workers who lose their jobs during a recession may give up looking for another job. These workers are not considered unemployed. They are now out of the labor force. Falling real wages during recession means that some workers will find the market wage less than their reservation wage, so they stay out of the labor force. The discouraged worker effect causes labor force participation to decrease during a recession. Evidence finds that the discouraged worker effect is stronger than the added worker effect. Therefore, the labor force participation rate is pro-cyclical, falling during recessions and rising during expansions. Okay, that's it.